So you're kind of going in and out of jail, pretty much. In and out. In and out. In and out. And then at one point, you you become a blood. Mm -hmm. And you take that back to Brooklyn? Mm Mm-hmm. I take it back to Brooklyn. And and is there a blood sect in Brooklyn at the time? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it was bloods in Brooklyn. But more, 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 more in bad style. Okay. Yeah. Not really Flatbush. Not really Flatbush. Okay. I went against the grain. You went against the grain. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, from what I understand, you used to rob people bare face. Mm-hmm. No mask. Nah. And then I heard you would you would rob people and then take pictures with them at the club. That that was that was my way of, you know, it was like it was like tricking the crowd. I would say, because um. You might rob a dude and the dude just talking, everybody hearing, you hearing, Vlad hearing, yeah, man, he said he's gonna kill Casanova. But when I see you, what's up, what's going on? How you doing, you all right? Hey, what's going on? Yo, Vlad, take this picture real quick. Hmm. Yeah, all right, you was talking like you was gonna do something, but you ain't do nothing. But you know what I'm gonna do? I'm not even gonna argue with you. I'm not gonna find, I'm gonna put the picture up on Instagram and everybody gonna be like, no way. No way, this guy's a legend, you know what I'm saying? And just the other day, I was performing at um a FN Vodka uh, show and I really the dude that got on the stage with me, you we really used to try to kill each other. You know what I'm saying? It's on my Instagram. I used to go to East New York, shoot at him, you know. He used to come to Flatbush, shoot at me. I used to go to the club, pop on some of his mans, he used to try to catch me, I'd shoot at him, and I was like, he on the stage with me right now. It's funny. It was funny because when you really live in a life, it's like it is it can't be frauded. Like this is real stuff. Like, and that's why I think most of these rappers is it, it's not gonna survive with me around. Cause I really live this. What y'all talking about? Some of y'all ain't don't even know what it feels like to be missing to to get a number a den number. You know what I'm saying? To be called inmate. You know what I'm saying? But that's on another note. Go ahead. Well, and you and you became the. The top gangster in Flatbush. Yeah, because I just think it was because of my dirty work, mm. not because I was just the toughest. You know what I'm saying? It was just my dirty work. I was always willing to go that to that to that limit. You know, whether it was putting in work, whether it was a robbery, whether it was this, that, and the third. I was always willing. Like, come on, let's do it. And some people didn't want to get in the ride. Some people were like, nah, you know what? You bugging now. So it just I think it got stamped on me. You know what I'm saying? What do you think is the worst thing that you went through um, when, when you were in that life? The worst thing I ever went through was... Because you don't win all the time. Nah, I don't win. No, no, no. Nobody in that life just takes wins over no. and over again. Um, The worst thing I ever went through in my life, I would have to say... What's the whole? Okay, so let's okay, so let's let's get into that. Uh huh. So you're you're doing your robberies, you're doing your your crimes, and you're going in and out of prison. Mm-hmm. But it's not long stretches yet, right? No. But then you end up robbing a check cashing place. Ah uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, you did your homework. <laughs> I always do my homework. <laughs> You're not, you're not stepping in this room and it's like, tell me about yourself. I have no idea. Yeah. yeah. I did my homework. Yeah. So you rob a check cashing place. Mm-hmm. Were you wearing a mask? Um, no, nah, I did. I did. I did. I had a, uh, I didn't have a mask on. It was funny because I, I was looking for a mask, but I, I didn't have one. So I think I had a hoodie on and I put it like... <laughs> You know, okay. I, at that time, that was the thing to do. You know, rob the check cash is the easiest. And I don't know why they gave us the money because the window was bulletproof. Right. But I always used to pull up with like a shotgun. So it was real intimidating. You right. know what I'm saying? Uh, I was like, thinking the shotgun could blast through the you window. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Sometimes I used to go in and they used to be like, hey, get the hell out of here. You're not. And I just run out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> And sometimes they just be like, <laughs> and you get lucky. That day I got lucky, actually. They you, gave you the money. Yeah, they gave you the money. How, how much was it? It was probably like $7,500, man. 
Okay. $7,500. Not that much. Not that much at all. But to me, then, I was rich. I was <laughs> lit. You know what I'm saying? I was lit. You couldn't tell me nothing. I was in my bag. So you got your 7500 How did they catch you? Um. All right, cool. Uh, it was me and Kenny. So me and Kenny, um, I told them, I called my boy, I was like, yo, listen, I need y'all to come with me. They was like, nah, we doing something, we on the next move. I'm like, all right, fuck that, I need money. Let's get it. Me and Kenny going there, got the two shot. Everybody get down, boom. So, so it was you and your man, so really it's not even 7,500, it's 3,750. Nah, it was 7,500, because I, I, always, I always take that. I take oh, so, that. so he, don't, he didn't even get a he cut? He holding me down. Okay. He, ain't, he ain't really... He get what I give him, cause he 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 he, he the lookout. You oh, holding me down. Okay, You're not putting it. in the work. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So um we go in there and immediately we got a break. The break is the door was slightly cracked. Like they was either coming out to clean or going in to clean something. So I walk in, I'm like, everybody get down. And I'm like, it's not your money. Do not die over somebody else's money. Right. So we used to have a trick. The trick was, good robber, bad robber. You'd be like, shoot him, shoot him, just shoot him. And I'd be like, nah, he's just going to give me the money. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it so, was so, that. So you were the good robber. No, I was the, yeah, I was the good one. I, yeah, I was the good one. He was the bad one. Right. So shoot him, shoot him. And I'm like, nah, just give her the money. Give the money. Dude gave the money. So we take off. We good. My dumb ass had a girl like a block, a block and a half away. I run straight to her house. There's money flying everywhere. Boom. I'm just running. Mass on little like how that little thing, my hoodie like this, just running. And um, I guess somebody saw me running in the building. So... At that time, they surrounded the building, but I didn't know. Like, I didn't know. I'm in there. I'm just thinking of different stuff. I'm gonna buy. I'm a kid. I'm like, shit, it's going down. I'm lit. Hey, I'm getting you're, everything. You're how old at the time? I'm 19, 18. So I'm just like, I'm lit. 7,500, 18 years old. You think you, you, you done hit the jackpot. You know what I'm saying? So I just hear a knock at the door. Ooh. NYPD, open up. My heart drop. I'm like, oh, I start doing all type of shit I saw in the movies. I start burning my uh <laughs> my hoodie. <laughs> I don't know what the hell I was. I'm it's really burning on the stove. I'm trying to burn evidence. None of that shit worked. I'm taking out out taking out the, sh the shells, out the gun, flushing it down the toilet. It's not going nowhere. <laughs> like, shorty toilet was broke. I'm digging my hand back in there. I'm just all over the place. So it was, she had like a broken, a broken, uh, what's that? Like an ice cube. It was a Nintendo something, cube something. Yeah. So I put half of the money there, and I put half of the money in my, um, in my underwears. So uh, she was like, I gotta open the door. My mother's gonna kill me, young girl. I'm like, no, do not open it. Fuck that. She's like, Cash, please. They don't know nothing. I'm just gonna tell them nobody's here. But they had to been listening to us before. Like they must've did like a little, a little canvas of the building, just listening to the doors. And I, I must have been talking shit because I was so hyped. I'm like, 7,500, I'm lit. I'm going out. And you don't got no bills, you don't got nothing, so you just think of the Jordans, movies, parties. And she opened that door, man. She opened the door, me and my co-defendant was in there. She opened the door, they act like they was gonna talk to her, and they rushed in. Man, oh man. Found a gun outside, I tried to throw, me being dumb, I threw the gun outside the back of the window, thinking like, my dumb ass, they was out there in the back of the window. Like, they caught it. That's what they said. But I didn't even hear it drop. So I should have knew. Like, I didn't hear, like, a boom. 
I'm my dumb act, like they caught it. He said, you know I caught the gun, right? I saw your hand drop it. You know that, right? And I'm like, I'm just a young, dumb kid. You know what I'm saying? I'm just like, what the fuck? And then they took me in, and I was like, fuck it. My mom gonna bail me out. That's what made it worse, because my mom had money. And every time, she couldn't really believe this was her son doing this. My son wouldn't do that. For what? I do everything for him. Like, we had an eight-bedroom house in Flatbush. Like, as soon as you turn, as soon as you turn, we had, like, it was a little suburb park. As soon as you turn, that's where Two First and Church was. But my dead-end block was, like, one of the biggest houses in Flatbush. So every time I used to just be like, Ma, they lying, they set me up. They, they just blaming it on me because of him. You know, he do that, I don't do that. So um, she used to bail me out. And it got to the point where I got bailed out for that. I robbed the next one. Oh, you kept going? Yeah. Not knowing that my co-defendant already wrote a statement on me. You know what I'm saying? And they offered him a, what, a plea deal to, to cooperate? Yeah. Okay. He got six months probation. I got eight years. But, um, yeah, I didn't know that. So we are both free on, 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 on bond. And we're still robbing. Me not knowing that the whole time. So I go again. I do another one. So when I'm doing this one now, I caught it smooth. I caught this guy as he was opening up to check cashing. Pushed him in. All right, get down. Open up. I want it all. So it's three of us. <coughs> and um, he gives us like 15 grand. 15 to 16 grand. My co-defendant, my other co-defendant, not the one that I did this with, my other one, he's still locked up for something else. But um, he wants the guy to open a safe. I'm like, I don't give a fuck about the safe. We got the money. I already start stashing the money in different little spots because I know it's three of us now. So I'm stashing money. <laughs> Putting it, I owed you to wear like two boxes. Stash the money. So um, for some reason, God was with this guy. Because that motherfucker did some, a magic trick and disappeared. Literally like, <laughs> disappeared. We're in the store by ourselves. I'm like, I'm getting the fuck out of here. Like, yo, I'm taking the safe. It was like probably like a... One of them little safes. Oh, you want to take the whole safe with you? Yeah. Me. I said, uh-uh, I'm out of here. I'm leaving. While I'm leaving out the door, he pops up from the floor. Like, um, you ever walked in the street and you see the, the, the yeah. yeah. Right. So he pops up, help, they robbing my store. But I'm already, like, passing him, running with the money. My other co-defendant gets locked in the store. They beat his ass in that store. Who, who's they? Like, like, like the dude family. Like, oh. I guess the check cashing people lived upstairs. This shit was so amazing. Like, he went down from downstairs, disappeared to the basement. That's what happened, and came out the store through the through that little basement shit, and was just yelling, and they beat his ass. They, like an hour later, police arrested him. He was like, yo, I'm in a hospital, man. I walked past in the hospital to go see him, but I didn't know he was with police at the time. You know, I'm still young. I look, I see his whole shit all twisted, eyes big, lips big, knots all over his head. I'm laughing, you know, the little kid. Like, he like, go, get out of here, get out of here. But I didn't see his handcuffs. So when I saw his handcuffs, I'm like, oh, he's done. Then I saw like three detectives and then I just left. But um, that was the end of my check cash and robbery spree because like three days after that, they revoked 
they re- revoked my bail for the other case mm-hmm. and remanded me. I was coming to court, and when I was coming to court, I saw like two guys in the back just looking at me. I'm like, Ma, I don't feel right, because my mom always used to go with me to court. I don't think, I think they trying to set me up again, Ma. You know, I knew what I did, but I was just, just lying to Mama Love. Yeah, Ma, I think they trying to set me up. Look, them two guys, they keep looking at me. I know them. They was from Robbery Squad. I really did know them. And um, as soon as I was done with my case, it was like, um, excuse me, Mr. Senior, can I talk to you for a second? I said, what's going on? Can you put your hands behind your back? You're under arrest for a robbery. Nah, nah, nah. I said, Lord, my, um, my baby mother was pregnant at the time, like two months pregnant. And I was like, I knew I was going to jail. Like, you know, once, you, once, you, once you've been dealing with the streets, I'm like, they ain't giving me no break this time. So uh, from there, that's what took me away. Eight years. Yeah, I po- I got six and a half, but then I caught a new charge in jail, so I had to do it. So you got six and a half years. Yeah. And you're 19. Yeah. Uh, how did it feel to to be a 19 year old and hearing that you're not getting out until your mid 20s? It hurt. It hurt because I said, "Dang," and the. I, the it hurt so it, it hurt so much more to me because I'm like, dang, I just had in there when when I was when I was getting sentenced, I'll never forget. Um, the lawyer I got said, "Listen, you're young. I know you made a mistake. You're gonna make a lot of mistakes in life. Don't make this mistake." He said, "You could go to trial. You got two robberies. You could go to trial." Hey, one of them, you wasn't there on the on on scene, whatever. You got away. We really didn't got enough evidence, truthfully. He said, but if you blow the any one of these, you know you're going to get 25 years, right? He said, I'm going to give you a shot. I'm going to run it concurrent. I'm going to give you six and a half years. He said, you could take this and see your daughter, seven, eight, six, whatever, however that goes, or... Uh, you could not enrich the senior daughter when she's getting married. Mm. That hit me. That hurt me. And and no matter how faking I, I used to fake, like, baby, I got this. I faked it all the way till I got back to my cell. I said, can you give me a second, Judge? I faked it. I went back there. I started kicking, screaming. <laughs> and then I came back out, and then I took my time. But it, it really hurt because I was like, dang, I, I'm leaving my, my daughter, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I didn't even know her to even miss her. I didn't even know what it felt like. Yeah. You know, sometimes even now when I come home, I, I it shocks me. Like, dang, I got kids, you know? Yeah. But, um, yeah, that's that that was the part right there that, that stung me, the copping out part. 